Greetings, YouTube. It is uh, hard to believe. It's already been about 12 hours since the Legends Crystals came into the game. We have the new Legends Calendar that's in the game. The, I think the Mythic Crystal is real exciting. Everything else feels like it's about three years behind. Or for, you know, proven players, which I know free stuff is free stuff. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I do think... At this point in the game's evolution, progression-based crystals, whether that's the seven hour crystals, or the calendar, especially the cutoff is, say, Cavalier. Uh, sorry, Uncollected Players, I just I need you all to just push yourself to become Cavalier. I know it sounds like I'm being out of touch to say that, because it's easier said than done, but that's just where the game has evolved minimally at Cavalier. Uh, with that being said, we have, in our now red mail, a reminder of the legendary triumph that was the free crystal that we got today, right? We could go for the HQ Sean crystal featuring Toad. We could go for the Brutal DLX crystal featuring Wong or the Not Cool Penguin crystal featuring Nimrod. And Mama Bear and I both got, and it was for me, the first one I think I've opened all year, Six Star Nexus. And we both got incredible... Science Champions, in fact, according to my latest July tier list, I got the number four Science Champion in Spider-Man 2099. She got the number one Science Champion in Human Torch. Both of them, I believe, though, were already awakened. So we added 20 more SIGs, which is still an amazing pull. But some of you who thought to themselves, let's just look at the odds. Notice some things that I didn't. And shout out, as always, to my man Brian Shadowstrike for keeping me updated on these posts, especially now that I am back to teaching and recording videos after working all day at midnight. So, Legendary Triumph Crystals drop rates. Not all heroes wear capes, and in this case, Andre98 is speaking up for those of you. And by the way, I, I know people who got six-star Wong from this. I know people who got a six-star Nexus, who got a good five-star, another six-star. So, talk about a chance to double dip. What do you mean by double dip? Well, let's read the forum post, shall we? Wong's crystal has a lower drop rate than the rest. Is this because he is not in the basic yet? Why is this not mentioned? Is this a bug or intended? Please make clear why. It's a respectful post. It's a it's a fair question, right? You think all drop rates should be the same? Typhoon says, Wong is currently in the featured pool and the others are not. So that seemed to be his justification. Dr. Zolo, well, that stinks. Wong Cav was the only one I wanted. I like that he signs it Dr. Zola, even though you can see his name's Dr. Zola. It seems a little repetitive, but you know, maybe you just want everybody to know your name. I don't know. Summoner in R, Brutal DLX's version Wong is featured, does indeed show lesser featured percent drop rates. Note, this was given to Uncollected and Below. So this was, of course, progression-based, even though the 7-hour crystals and the uh, login, uh, login doesn't appear to be. Were these the same rates as when their uh, feature crystals were originally released? And so maybe just reuse their existing crystals instead of making new special ones for this giveaway. That seems like a pretty believable theory. So you have the Grandmaster Legends choice. Now the Grandmaster drop rates are really crazy in terms of the difference. In the Wong crystal, a 5-star Wong is 0.42%, which is almost as rare as like a 6-star Nexus in a featured cavalier crystal compare that 0.42 percent for the five star to the others which are 0.91 percent so literally it's worse than half for that and for this so that seems pretty suspect in terms of equality now the cavalier version was different but not to the level of discrepancy that we just saw in those crystals and that's why Kabam Jack said, hey, Summoners, this was indeed a mistake. Looks like it's something the team is already in the process of fixing. Then they will evaluate compensating players accordingly. Which, this doesn't affect me. I chose the Nimrod Crystal. Was obviously very happy with my result. So sometimes when I use compensation in a headline, because that is a buzzword, right? People will say, oh, Prof, you're just trying to get clicks. Or, oh, Prof, you're just trying to get free crystals. Not for me. And if I'm trying to get free crystals for people that got the worst drop rates, why is that a bad crusade? Why is that me not having a life? I'm trying to use my platform to help people. 
this is helping those people. And if you got something great in the Wong Crystal, well, even if you get a compensation that's a three star, it's still an extra three star. I just don't see the negative unless people are jealous that they chose the other crystals and don't have a chance to do it. But, you know, it happens. Uh, Shaktaman says, damn, I got a three star from this Wong. Well, again, maybe you'll get another chance for another three star. So if we don't open ours yet, will the drop rate get fixed? Or do we need to reselect it once it gets fixed? Double dippers assemble. You don't need to know. You know. You know what this is all about. I love I love double dippers assemble needs to be like a, a meme with with cap and the shield and the portals coming through for in-game. I didn't even notice but I got five star Rintra. I chose Wong Crystal. Chance at Wong or Rintra. And then you can see here, here it's a 0.42% chance again. Here you're seeing the six star version. Now Nimrod was 0.91%, Toad was 0.91%, and Wong was 0.9%. So in that sense, are you gonna give compensation to the people because there was a 0.01% difference? Maybe. The Grandmaster compensation obviously is way more obvious at first, even though I just used the word obviously or obvious twice in one sentence. That is lazy adjectives, kids. Either way, I think it's kind of fun to talk about, you know. I um, I certainly support the uh, the notion that the Wong crystals, especially with the Grandmaster Five Star, are way worse than they should. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below in this. I really do appreciate. Like, it's amazing to me how I had so many people ask me how my day was back to teaching because yes I am a college professor uh believe it or not this was my 19th straight semester teaching it's nice to be back I haven't taught in like four months because we got out at the end of April and it's now of course mid-August actually almost like late August but at the same time YouTube is such an amazing part of my life too that it's nice to have both it just is and it's nice to teach classes where people want to start their own YouTube channels and do everything from helping people budget for equipment to editing videos to obviously uploads and such and even thumbnails you just never know thanks for watching youtube have a good one and thanks again to brian shadow strike for sending this my way